things are going great. Uh, it's uh, been a lot of work to get to this point by a lot of individuals and a lot of volunteers. But uh, things have been going really smoothly today, so it's, it's been exciting and great to see a lot of happy people coming through and getting vaccinated and getting us to that next step. So we actually started working on this the end of October as just a possibility that this could happen and spend a lot of time over some months just going back and forth on things. But in all reality, today was a week ago is when it came in uh, that it was going to happen. So when the governor changed and said the 12th is when people could start going, it was kind of it was go time and it was it was a quick turnaround to, to get to this point and pull everything together. Opening up schools fully and that having the, the faculty and staff be able to be fully vaccinated this is a huge step to, to welcoming all the students back and hopefully we'll be able to do that sooner rather than later and you know whatever the new normal looks like having this the, the vaccination and the herd immunity and that allows people to to get back to way life used to be. For our closed pod, it's staff and faculty members only for Pinkerton, the Dairy School District, Chester, and Hampstead. And it's any employee through those schools. So you don't have to be a certain age or have any eligibility as long as you're an employee through one of those school districts. They got us a slot here. They were able to sign up through a link and they got their, their slotted time and, and date, obviously. We have about 995 staff and employees park out front of the field house and come in through those doors over there. They're greeted by a nurse and they're taken to get their temperature checked and go through those routine screening questions that we all know and love by now. Making sure that they're okay and then they are assigned to their volunteer spot if they're a volunteer and if they are here to receive the vaccine. They are signed in and given their card and their date and the, the lot number and escorted in here to the gym. We have greeters that are showing them which table that they can go to and as you can see we've got firefighters, EMS, folks from Southern New Hampshire Public Health Network. They're all getting them settled, going over the education materials and giving them the vaccine. Once they've had the vaccine, they head over behind me and they go to the observation area where we've got a handful of nurses which are stationed over there to watch people for anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. They're gonna come back in 28 days, so they'll come back on April 11th, same time slot that they came in today, and that's it. They'll get their second dose of Moderna and 14 days later, they'll be considered fully vaccinated but I believe our first appointment was about nine o'clock this morning. So last count, uh, I think we were up around 600 vaccines and we'll go all day. I think we anticipated anywhere from 970 to 1,000 vaccines. It's a very large scale event and we couldn't do it without the partnerships that we have and it's going wonderful. Uh, our vaccine recipients are happy. We're bringing a sense of relief and hope to the community. Um, and people are, are thrilled and everybody's in a good mood and it's really it's really great to be able to do this. Really this is one of the great the greatest shot I've ever had in my life. I didn't even feel it. I was felt so good that the, the volunteers, the nurses, every, everyone was amazing uh, and it happened really quick. Um, I don't I think there were talks about it just a, a week ago and then it got organized and set up and the shots and you know we all the teacher teachers are just really excited to get the kids back into school. You're talking about opening up schools fully and that having the, the faculty and staff be able to be fully vaccinated uh, takes a lot of the, the stress and the, and the pressure off of our individuals to be there in the classroom and that so this is a huge step to, to welcoming all the students back and hopefully we'll be able to do that sooner rather than later and you know whatever the new normal looks like um, you know having this the, the vaccination and the herd immunity and that allows people to to get back to way life used to be.